Now, a new study has found that contrary to popular belief, for when a relationship is in trouble, it's the men who suffer the most. Romantic ups and downs apparently have a greater effect on the mental health of young men than women. While women are more likely to share their feelings with friends, men are much more prone to bottle up their emotions, which have a negative effect on their health. So, do you think it's a woman's responsibility to worry about how an ex is coping with the relationship breakup? Uh, no, but I couldn't help it. It was... It, I, I felt quite weak, but, however, I cared deeply about him when, when we split. And uh, the day after we split, I phoned my mum in tears, and, I, and she was like, you know, you're missing it. And I said, no, it's not that. Who's going to cook his dinner and do his washing? And I, I honestly was so worried about how he was going to eat and who was going to look after him. And it was all for to go to his flat and make sure he was all right and but clean up. and guilt? Well, no, not at all. I just worry about everybody. And I think, and I wish I didn't, and I wish I was stronger. But I do. And, and it's pathetic, I know. But I, no, it's, it's a nice quality. And if you didn't cook in the relationship in the first place, you wouldn't <laughs> I do Feel find free. this rather odd myself, because, I mean, if the relationship is... I mean, obviously, it depends how the relationship ends, who dumps who, if you both dump each other. And, but I would say I'd, I very rarely, as you know, agree with a survey. But I have to say, as I've got sons, that I think, especially when um, young people, um, in terms of young men and women, I think girls are much more superficial, I have to say. And young men take it very, very seriously. And as the survey said, they can't go, go away and talk to girlfriends. That's not what you do as a bloke. We get therapy um, from our girlfriends yes, all and the girls time. Could move on, you know, they could... And I think men feel very... feel pride, uh, of, say, if they were dumped, much, much more painfully than, than women do, than girls do. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you're right about the, the, the pride thing. I think... And also, like you say, it depends how the relationship ends. But if it's gone horribly, horribly wrong, um, th and you both know that it's over, then, then it's easier for the man to get his head around it. And sometimes it kind of helps if you make it so bad that <laughs> you force him to make the decision himself. Do you know what I mean? That is quite manipulative and it's quite a oh, girly thing to do. No, 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 yes. no, it's not. In some ways, it's actually helping them to get their head around the fact that, that it's over. And, and to keep going, I understand why, and I think it's a lovely trait that you have, that you care so much about whether they're going to be all right. But I think there's a lot of women that quite like the idea that their men aren't coping without them. Yeah. So that they think that, oh, oh now no. they might appreciate me because I did all the ironing, no, I did I all the cooking, I did all this, and now you, now you don't have me. I think if you might actually heart, appreciate me and come I back. If, I think if anybody's got a heart, you've lived with somebody, you've loved somebody, um, when, you, when, they go, when you go separate ways, when you let them go, whatever the decision, you can't help but no, no, worry I mean, about it. I don't Carol mean split on... up and you hate him. You hate him. Yeah, you I can't think, go, I yeah, hate you, I but mean, have you got clean socks? I don't mean like this. That's my point, Linda. Yeah. My point is that I, on an emotional level, I think it's important that you do tie up all the loose ends yeah. so that you can walk away and it's all tidy and everybody's yeah. happy with it. But I don't think you should worry about whether he's eating or he's... Well, it depends, doesn't it, on how your relationship is ended? Because if there is a betrayal at play, then obviously you're far less concerned it, yeah. with, exactly. with are they OK. But yes. I think certainly what you're talking about there, Zoe, is, is, is a sadness at a separation, a sadness that it I didn't work so. out. And yeah. I can totally understand that, you know, you might no longer be in love with somebody, that doesn't mean you, you don't love them, you don't care about them, you don't care that they're okay. Um, I, would, I would never sit easy at home thinking that somebody somewhere is upset because I've caused, caused that hurt. Yeah, and, and I think all the it, things you I did to them in the, right. in the relationship... Boys, men, ultimately, it hits them much harder. Yeah. Because it not just do they, you know, do they love the person, if they love the woman, but they're dumped... If they're dumped, it's pride, and I think women can get over that and think, oh, OK. Such a shame, right. isn't it, that they don't have the opportunity to talk like we do. Yes. It I, I really it do. It's never going to happen. But it also, if you're happen. smart, you can make them think it's their idea so they can have the pride and they can have the control. Oh, but Liz, that's cowardly. You're just getting them to do your dirty work. Well, most of them want me to go because of my cooking anyway, so if I... Start... <laughs> this is true. You are a rubbish homemaker. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, one final break.